Good day, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to the channel. As usual, I'm Henry, and I'm going to be your tour guide on today's video. In today's video, I'm going to be telling you guys all about D5 animation in a few minutes. So if you have not done so, please hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, also hit the notification bell to get notified once we release new videos. That said and done, we are going to jump right into the content right away. To create animations in D5, we will simply go to this tab over here, this video tab over here. So you enter the animation interface. So D5 like Lumion works with by creating animation by picking shots and in time intervals. So to just display what I just said now, we are going to start picking some shots now. So we are going to just pick an animation now. So to start picking an animation, you go under this camera, add camera over here and we are going to click one shot here. Then we are going to go to the next distance we, or interval we want to go to. Then we are just going to click another shot here. So that has just created an animation now. So as you can see. We have just created an animation so we can go further by clicking this plus icon to pick another animation so we can just click on it to create a, another clip it, it doesn't mean that the first clip we created has deleted but it just gives us an avenue to create random clips in the same project so we are just going to change another position and we're going to pick another animation shot let's just pick from here and let's do so another thing you should keep in mind is that your tool of movement actually affects your animation for instance i'll just pick this uh if i place this animation view here or this camera shot here and i go under this camera movement and i change it to orbit and i just click on add shot and i just orbit it in the same orbit movement and add another shot so you'll just see that this animation has been added and it will move in an orbital manner so we can do in the same fashion we can also go and create another animation another clip for another animation then we are going to go to an area view um, pardon me let me uncheck this orbit because i don't use orbit to move around navigate a project then we are going to go to an area view to actually pick another animation another clip sorry so we are going to, going to go to this view and we're going to switch it back to orbit we're going to pick this animation here and we're going to orbit it to another animation and we're just going to pick it and i think that is good so aside from picking animation we can also adjust the time to make it slower or faster so for this animation clip we want to make it faster we can just go to this value here where it has 9.1 seconds and reduce the time and make it six seconds and we will be able to make the animation faster and edit the clips we want to animate okay then we can go back to this clip one and we can explore more tools in the clip as once you talk about animation it's always part of animation being to animate objects inside the animation so to animate object we we'll first need to place the object so we're going to exit this animation interface then of course i'm going to remove it from navigating through orbit then i'm going to let's say place a vehicle now I'm going to go to online, I'm going to go to model, and I'm going to go look for vehicles to actually place some D5 vehicles. So, we are going to place some cars. Let's just place one or two cars. Let's place this car here. This car here. And let's place this car here. And let's place this one here. Okay? And I think that is good. So, we'll go back to this animation interface and go back to clip one. So we want to animate these cars. Why this video? As this video is going to move like this, we're also going to animate these cars. So we are going to click on pause and go back to the beginning. So we are just going to rotate our this our camera to actually be able to select the cars. Then we're going to click on this car and we're going to go to this um, rate matching and we're going to check this thing on and make sure this rate matching is checked on then we're going to go to this add keyframe this add keyframe actually adds a position it means that at this point in time of this animation this car will be at this position so we'll now move to the ending pose to the end of this video or this clip and then we're going to go and shift the car this automatically creates another frame here, meaning at this point in time of this animation, the um, vehicle will be at this position. So here is what it creates. Let me just play this animation. So as you can see, the animation is actually, the car is actually moving. But that car is slow and we want to make it faster. So what we are going to do is we are going to go to this end, um, end of the video of the clip and go to this car and click on the car. We are also going to notice that the keyframe is still here but we are going to shift the distance of the car so we'll make the car cover much more distance in a shorter time in turn making the car faster so we are just going to click on play and see what we've done in the same fashion we can also do the same for this other car we brought in we are just going to click it click on this click on this rate matching go to the end of the video 
then place it where we want to place at the end of the video then go back to the video and play it so as you can see we have successfully animated the objects we could also animate the, the object you animated our vehicles we could also animate objects like birds or human beings so we'll also uh, exit from the animation interface one more time we're going to go to assets and we're going to go to character and we're going to place a human being to see how the human being will move okay why selecting human beings in d5 is also important to make sure that this box um little signage over here is attached to any component you are placing for animation if not they won't animate so we're just going to place this asian man here and we're always going to place him over here and just rotate him to a good position then we're going to go back to the animation again and we are going to go back to this shot. Now we are going to click on the same the human being. In the same fashion, we are going to check this and create, put this rate matching. And we are going to move the camera, the animation timeline to the end. Then we are going to put this man and the position we want him to be at the end of the animation. Then we are going to play it. The man is walking too fast. What do we do? We go to the end of the time frame, click on the man and reduce the distance he walks. So it will in turn make him slower. So as you can see, that is all for animating objects and creating the clips in D5. So the next setting we are going to do is we are going to do some environmental animation in D5 render. So we are going to show you how to animate the environment. What do I mean by animation? I mean things like wind and weather, changing weather and so much more. So to do that, we are just going to go to the use this clip for instance. We are going to go to environment. So now, the first thing I am going to do is I am going to go and check this wind here. And I am going to increase the strength of the wind. What happens is once I increase the strength, once I play the animation, it means that this wind will be okay. If, as I played it like this, it didn't actually reflect. What I forgot to do is, once you check in a setting in animation and you increase and you edit a setting in this parameter, is always you always make sure that you update it so the setting will affect in the clip. You do the same for this second clip on the wind, increase the strength and make sure you update it over here to make sure that the setting applies. So we're just going to play it and we'll animate it. We can also do change the position of the cloud and or animate the cloud moving in the d5 animation how do i do that i go to this second clip and i go to environment and i change the position of the hdri so it will actually move and once i change the position and the position between the first and the last part are different and i update it and as you can see this position here is different the position here is different what does it yield if i click on the animation you will notice that the cloud is moving and so so i hope with these tools i've shown you guys in d5 you can use these tools to actually achieve realistic animations in d5 render and help you in your future visualization projects so if the video was helpful don't forget to just watch it and go away make sure you hit the like button subscribe to our channel to keep in touch because we'll be consistently dropping some architectural development content have a nice day and thank you very much